Hello, my name is Knut Benedikt. I'm from the Wismar University, Hochschule Wismar in Germany. And I would like to present my presentation for the ICNET 2020 in Durban. And the first I'd like to do is to thank the organizers for, the, uh, for their great job. Uh, they really deserved our applause to organize this conference, even in these hard Corona times. My presentation is on innovative teaching method for ship bending. It's called SALMON. And this is an element of the EU project EUROZA between South Africa and Europe. So Knut Benedict, it's me, but I do represent a group of excellent researchers from our uh, university and also the uh, ISIMS company, which is responsible for producing the software and maintaining it. The project we are in is uh, six partners. It's from Southampton, UK, Seaput in uh, Cape Town, in Port Elizabeth, in Finland, in Durban, our conference hosts, and this is us. The aim of the project is the improvement of MET curricula. Uh, the enhancements in pedagogical processes and also uh, the improvement of uh, facilities and resources to de deliver quality education. This is, by the way, the topic of my presentation, uh, how we could improve it by fast time simulation for lecturing, maneuvering uh, and others. This is our website, this is a link, and this is our great team short after a project meeting in the snow in Finland, we're just about to go into the sauna afterwards. We were very proud to be the host uh, for the kickoff meeting in our Maritime Simulation Center in Warnemünde. Oh, within this meeting, we were also showcasing our big simulation facilities, a three-story building, but also we were highlighting the fast time simulation for ships maneuvering uh, here it is being presented on a touch screen, wonderful instrument. What is the, um, uh, the benefits of this uh, technology, fast time simulation? In a full mission simulator, as here on our bridges, you need uh, for an exercise for a turning maneuver with a big ship, even maybe one hour, because it's in real time. Contrast the innovation potential in fast time simulation is that you um, are much more faster. So for such a turning circle like here, you might need seconds only. And so all of these maneuvers which are pressed into this uh, um, presentation, uh, you, I need maybe uh, uh, 20 minutes or so for all of the maneuvers. Um, these are the pictures from my, from my paper. So it's two samples of fast time simulation. On the left side to present drifting. Uh, so with no engine, the ship was drifting under wind from north. And this is various maneuvers to compare with uh, um, regular turning circles with other maneuvers under wind impact when the ship is uh, under uh, an engine. So here's um, a sample video. I like like to tell you something about wind impact. This is a ship stopped and now I switch to the wind. So the wind should be three zero enter. And then we see the ship is purely drifting. And at the after 24 minutes, uh, the speed is 2.24 knots. What happens if I do the thruster, both thruster against the wind fully? So full to full to starboard. No, shifting in this direction. It's port. It's port. <laughs> Using the stern thruster, full against the wind. So the drift speed is only 1.34 knots. If I use the thruster in the opposite direction. So maybe to 10, then go further to 20, 30, 40. 
okay, this is really going into now uh, the direction of 115, 145. And if I use the thruster more, then the, the ship can be turned. So the ship is to be turned. And so you can find- I stop it here, but what you see is that even with no engines, if the thrusters uh, available, then you can have effect on your drifting direction. And we have so two this is an angles as reference. What happens now if I have the wind from north for this position? Uh, I again add now wind from north with three zero. Then we see what happens to the ship. Instead of a turning circle, it goes into this direction. So it's much more bigger advance. What happens if I do the turning to port side now? So I'm using this for rather to 30 degrees to starboard. And you see with 30 degrees, the rudder is not able to turn anymore. Even with 35 degrees, with 40 degrees, no, you can't do that. The rudder effectiveness is even decreased. So the only help we would have to turn around is to increase the speed with the engine order to 40, maybe. Ah, then it helps already. So speed is your friend. And then you see what happens. Yeah, what happens? Uh, this is now a full maneuver. So you see a full maneuvering plan from a ship starting here, first without wind. Uh, so you see the ship has to go here, has to be turned, and then it goes back to be burst uh, parallel to these spurs here. And this is the same maneuver on the wind. And I should say for each of these maneuvers, I might have to done it in maybe uh, five to 10 minutes. Uh, so here's one sample, how it works. This time slider is being used uh, to move the ship out of the, our reference position. So these tracks is already simulated. And so, you know, you have only to go up to a certain position uh, like here to um, stop the ship there. Um, and to stop the ship, we have to set a maneuvering point here. Now the reference is here. Okay. So if we proceed six minutes like this, then we will go over this area. Uh, in this port, we don't want, we want to stop here. So we have to reverse the engines, 20, 10, zero. This is now minus 20, minus 30. So you see, okay, this might be a appropriate position to stop here. So we move the ship up to this position uh, around here. See so speed is, half a knot, the remaining speed is half a knot. So we add a maneuvering point here and then we can turn the vessel here. First, we have to stop the engines like this and we have to turn the ship by using the bow thruster. Fall to the starboard side. Okay, this would not be nice because we would uh, go into the shallow water area. So we are using also the stern thruster additionally and then you see, okay, this might be fine. We don't touch the shallow water area. And if we move the time slider now here, then you see that the ship is moving to a, a, a certain heading change. This might be fine. To stop, to make a new maneuvering point. And here we stop the thrusters. Uh, also this thruster, uh, and then we see uh, the ship is still a little bit moving and we uh, move the engines ahead now with 20. So you see that the ship is going to this fairway and so we proceed with the ship to a certain position like here when the when the uh, speed vector is uh, lined up with the fairway like this. And then we 
are able to set a new maneuvering point like this and to steer the ship accordingly maybe with yeah i'll make it a bit faster here understand how it works okay then we go to the next this is now with wind and now we try to do the same thing under so i only show these are the faces because i don't have time and now our stopping i was allowed to do only 10 minutes but you see we are really not um, making this part so the option would be okay instead of having two engines astern we diesel yeah okay so the desynchronizing then the ship is making this way and then finally we steer again back into the past so so how it's work i no, don't have no. time so if you want to see any of these movies uh, in much more detail simply go to youtube and search for isims and then you find this uh, website where a lot of movies are describing this technology so this was my presentation uh, i'm very happy again to share this information with you and i do wish all the best for these conferences specifically for sanya who is really doing a great job there thanks a lot